Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for another video about my Khaleesi. I've had recurrent ones. This time we're going to do something different. This time, instead of excising it, as you can see in other videos that I have on YouTube, this time we're going to try an injection of steroid in a thing called 5-HU. 5-HU, 5-fluorouracil, is actually a chemotherapeutic agent, but we're going to use some steroid to reduce inflammation and some of this 5-HU in order to perhaps reduce some of the fibroblasts, some of that scar tissue kind of stuff coming in um, to the wound. I was worried about getting it excised again, getting it opened up with a scalpel, because I worry about, you know, recurrent scarring. So here we go. Um, we're going to sort of inject into and around this calaisei. And uh, this is, again, Dr. Lee, who has, uh, is the man. So you're going to see him here injecting. He's made up his own special solution of steroid and 5-HU, and he's injecting it into the calaisei and into the tissues just surrounding the calaisei. This, as always, hurts like an absolute mother, um, but you've got to stay still, and you've got to be a man and not cry. And so uh, then he's sort of squishing it around in the tissues to get it into the, the proximate tissues, into the tissues nearby. And uh, you'll see, you know, when he pulls back there, there's a little, little whiteness there. So he's checking it out. All right, now he's going to do one. I have one in my uh, lower lid. So he's going to actually inject inside. Psychologically, this is very difficult to not blink when somebody is sticking a needle into your lower lid. But if you breathe quietly, you can do it. Now, there's a lot of room here in these tissues of the lower lid. So you can uh, inject quite easily. It doesn't hurt that much. It does hurt a little bit, though, I'll be honest with you. So you can get quite a bit in there. Now, what's going to happen, of course, is that after he's finished this, is that um, I'm going to have a big, giant, giant black eye, and I'll show you some pictures of that in a minute. So again, you're just going to sort of massage on this a little bit, put a little pressure on, try and reduce some of the bleeding, and massage it around into the uh, tissues that are proximate to that. And then we're going to see... If this works, we're going to wait a week or two. And that's all it takes is just a week or two to see if this is going to work. When you excise it, when you cut it, when you IND it, when you do that process, well, you just have a big scar and it's already been taken out. And then it takes a few weeks to heal. But this for me is the first time that I've had this steroid and 5-HU injection. And uh, let me show you some pictures of how this went. So here's me immediately afterwards, big and swollen. And then I'll show you a still picture of sort of about... 12 hours later, see lots of bruising, swelling, and uh, here's it a couple of days later, and then I'm going to show you another one starting to resolve. But it, the bottom one did fine, the top one actually needed to be injected again. So this is about a week after that first video, you see the bruising of that lower one that uh, we did, it's uh, still resolving. It takes a couple of weeks for that blood to get reabsorbed by the skin. So he's going to inject again, it's much smaller than it was the first time, but... Um, it still needs to have a little bit more juice. So again, we're going to do this injection of steroid and 5-HU about a week after the first one in exactly the same manner as you saw last time. So the eye's been cleaned off and he's just going to inject this uh, steroid and 5-HU right into that calaisei and to the tissues that are proximate to it. And he's going to massage it around and then we're going to see a week later if it's any better. And if it's still there, if it's still big, then I might have to have it excised. But if it gets better, then I won't. So same procedure as last time. So it actually worked really well, and I didn't need surgery. Here's the original. Here is it just after the injection of the upper and the lower version. Here is it about a week or so later, and now this is about a month later. There's still a little residual redness there, but it's much better. It worked great as far as I'm concerned. Very happy with it. No surgery. So your options, sometimes a surgery, sometimes a steroid, maybe a little 5-HU injection. Hope you found this useful. My name is Mel Herbert, and this is another MRAP HD video. Free for the world.